used to measure muscle pressure in the esophagus. Esophageal manometry can be used to help diagnose swallowing problems, heartburn or reflux, and non-cardiac chest pain. The outpatient procedure takes less than an hour and begins with a brief orientation. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Debbie and I will be your nurse today. You can come through. Instruction is given in the proper head position during insertion of a small thin tube called a catheter. In the procedure, I'll just have you put your chin on your chest a little bit. I will give you a cup of water like this and have you... The patient is shown how small sips of water may help in the insertion of the device. After putting on the appropriate protective clothing, a topical anesthetic is drawn and administered by syringe into one nostril. I'm just going to inject a little bit. The throat is also numbed in preparation for the study. Once the anesthetic has taken effect, a catheter is prepared. The thin tube has sensors at various locations which measure pressure as the esophagus squeezes the tube. The information from these sensors is transferred to a computer that shows the information on a moving display. The patient is seated in an upright position with the chin down. So I'm just going to feed it. The pressure sensitive tube is passed through the nose, along the back of the throat, down the esophagus, and into the stomach. A slight gagging reaction may occur, but it takes only about a minute to place the tube, and most patients quickly adjust. Small sips of water may be taken to aid the process. After insertion, a computer readout confirms the probe is in the correct position, and the tube is stabilized in preparation for the swallow test. The patient is asked to lay down on their side, breathe normally and remain still without swallowing as a baseline reading is taken. The process continues with the patient given 5 cc's of water. And this is some water, go ahead and swallow that. The path of the liquid is tracked as it makes its way down the esophagus to the stomach. The computer charts the pressure of the sphincter muscle and the contraction waves of swallowing. Multiple swallows are taken to allow measurement of various parts of the esophagus. The physician can later evaluate these wave patterns to determine if they are normal or abnormal and take the appropriate action. With the pressure recordings finished, the tube is withdrawn and a thermal compensation reading is taken to complete the study. Patients can usually resume normal activity, eating, and medicines one hour after the exam and okay. may drive themselves home as no sedation is involved in the procedure. Doing okay? I'm doing fine. Good. So I'm just going to take your gown off. You're all done. Okay. And remember, don't eat or drink for an hour. It's now 10 o'clock, so by 11 o'clock you can eat. And then make a follow-up appointment with your physician.